Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and a Sims 4 speed build. This is going to be a family home. It's going to be in the, I guess it's the Cape Cod style. We've been looking at some houses in real life recently, and one of the houses that seemed like could be manageable for my level of building skills <laughs> right now is a Cape Cod style. So we're going to see it on this very small lot. I think it's like a 20 by 15 lot, which is one of the smallest you can get in the game. And that is entirely because, like I said, I'm still kind of intimidated by building in this game. And therefore, I just wanted to see what I could do. I haven't actually built an entire house in a speed build. I've renovated no. part of a house mm -hmm. and I've done a wedding venue, but not a house. So, yeah. So you're starting as you often do with the kitchen, which I think is where one, that's kind of your anchor point for a house. Yeah, for me, the kitchen is the center of the home in real life and in Sims 4. So oh. when I'm thinking of like a family style home, I think that's where a lot of the important stuff of the house takes place. That in the dining room and living room, obviously. So that's why a lot of that is being set up right now. And as usual with my building, I'm kind of disorganized about it. Like I don't, you know, focus on one section at a time. I kind of go back and forth between different sections as I get bored and as I get inspiration. And also because the scale of building in the game is still a little bit unfamiliar to me and I need to have some furniture in place so that I can figure out exactly how big the rooms are and you know where the windows should go. A lot of the stuff that you're seeing right now is going to change, especially the windows. I think the windows are going to be deleted a few times. But the bones of the place, I think, are now largely in place. So I've got, yeah, the kitchen is getting there and the wall placement is getting there. And yeah, just now I'm fiddling with colors and trying to figure out what the overall color scheme of the building is going to be as well. So we've got, yeah, the kitchen at the back. It looks like the kind of the right side is the open living space, dining room, living room, kitchen, and the left side, which currently you haven't touched. I'm guessing that might be a couple of bedrooms and a washroom or something? Yes. One of the things that we really like in terms of houses that we've been seeing lately are, you know, lots of living space on the main level. So for instance, a bathroom for guests and a master bedroom if possible. Yeah. And then I'm going to add another floor to this house. As you saw, there's a staircase and there's also a basement. So the Ooh. staircase for the basement is stacked under the staircase to the second floor. It took me a, a while to figure out how to do that. And I think maybe the video has been a little bit too fast to show how exactly I did that. But basically you have to knock out the wall beneath the stairs before you place the staircase that goes on the bottom. The wall, not the floor, the wall. Yeah, like, you know, the stairs, and then there's the wall that has like a diagonal underneath the actual steps of the stairs. Oh, so you right. have to like knock that out okay. so that you just have free floating stairs or steps, and then you can place the other staircase immediately yeah. below. You can also only do it with a couple of types of stair now. No, no, no. I did this with. Because ah, in the Neeson house next door, I've got stacking stairs, but I use the the ones that can float. And it still right. was fiddly to get them on top of each other. But... Yeah, it is oh, okay. really fiddly. It's not very intuitive. And I think also because the native orientation of the game is like to show the house at an angle rather mm. than like top down. Like you can show it top down, but when you're building, the kind of build mode automatically goes into an angle. So it's hard to like place staircases exactly stacking on top mm. of each other. Like it takes some trial and error. Anyway, I'm talking about all that. But Meanwhile, putting you've all been the floors building. in and stuff like that <laughs> the floor too. floor and this lovely living room. So yeah, you said we kind of veer towards living on one story, like having most things on the first floor. Yeah. But I think that's largely because I'm lazy and like, who wants to walk <laughs> upstairs if you're going to go to your from your bedroom to your TV and then to get a snack? Who wants to walk upstairs when you want to say, <laughs> have ice cream in bed? You just want to not go up, walk upstairs three paces get the ice cream three paces back in bed that's my uh, <laughs> that's my philosophy so that's why i think having core stuff on one floor works really well yeah i mean i grew up actually in a one-story house and i always thought it would be cool to grow up in a multi-story house for me like i just kind of like the challenge of trying to see how much i could fit onto this small <laughs> lot and that meant having to do you know multiple stories as well 
Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it seems that here on the East Coast in America almost every house seems to have a basement. Like in big oh, no, cities, depends, they seem to be converted where into on the East Coast. apartments. Yeah, well, North I grew East, up on the East Coast, yeah. but grew up near the ocean, so right, there was so no room for basements. Yeah. Yeah. But I know like New York, you imagine having these basement apartments. So at one point would have been a basement, but now it's a whole apartment for people to live. And we know friends who've lived in basement apartments as well. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this is the master bedroom. Okay. This is at the front of the house? Yes. Right. Next to the living room, but mm-hmm. it's only accessible behind the staircase, so a sort of private hallway. I think yeah, um, by the kitchen. The Eden house, or the house that the Eden family originally lived in, in our Let's Play the Eden Family series, their master bedroom was located directly off of the living yeah. room and had a door off the living room. So it was for off this the main one, like hallway, which led straight into the living room. Yeah, it was one big space. Yeah. What? <laughs> It was like you enter the house on the left was yeah, there Maya's wasn't bedroom, really a hallway. on the right was, Ex- I I'm guess, s- yeah. but the stairs are right in front of you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, so for this one I wanted there to be more of a private hallway off mm-hmm. of the back, and that's what you can see it right there, actually. So I'm decorating, like I said, in a sort of disorganized style. I don't really have much kind of personality, I think, in the rooms. I don't have a Sim family just yet that I imagine living here. But for instance, I've got the master bedroom here, and then there's also a bedroom for, I would say, like a child, preteen age. There's just a single bed there. But I like that Van Gogh-inspired bed spread <laughs> with the sunflowers. <laughs> sunflowers, yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, me picking out curtains for windows that are not going to stay here. Yes, that's awesome. Great, <laughs> great, guys. I mean, I have said before that speed building for me is going to be really hard because I can just spend forever picking out curtains, and you'll see me also have been spending forever like picking out rugs and stuff like that. I also yeah. think you are very much a perfectionist. I'm not mm-hmm. saying you, like, we make perfect designs, but you want to have it as good as you can possibly be. Right. And you don't like showing all the things which you didn't like I know. on camera. I know. I'm still not used to that. Yeah. Well, also, I think we just haven't had enough practice building so i think yeah. you know we're not used to all the different items that you can get in the game and oh, I like, like i think if oh. you know what you're going to get once you open up that build mode then it makes it a lot mm-hmm. easier to choose but because we're still like getting familiar with all the different options that's why you see me picking out like six different curtains cuz yeah. i just don't automatically know what they're going to look like Although I've seen, you know, much more experienced Sims builders also show their mistakes or thought process on the camera. I actually find that really helpful to see mm. how they think and that they make mistakes and they like rip, do a kitchen and rip the whole thing apart. And <laughs> rather than making it U-shaped, they make it L-shaped. It's like, oh, okay, that's like, you do learn something from seeing the journey they go through in yeah. building what ends up being an awesome house. Yeah. There are, of course, some people who seem to be so awesome, they just build like something that looks amazing first time. It's just like, oh, maybe if I just did it like this. Yeah. It's like, how did you come up with that? And why does it look so amazing? You will see some significant changes like just okay. right there okay. I just changed the entire upstairs <laughs> so we hadn't seen much of the upstairs yet so there's a whole proper second floor yes and oh you're trying I see yeah Putting yeah because the Cape the Cod here. style seems to mainly have one ground floor first floor and the second floor is livable but it's kind of like a big roof space mm-hmm. so I guess that's what you're trying to no, I'm actually going to put more bedrooms and stuff on the second floor because mm-hmm. there's only two right now in the house, the master bedroom and the one for the small kid. So I'm putting a couple more rooms upstairs, but for now, just working on the mm-hmm. porch I in like the front. I like that porch up front with yeah. the, using just the roof as the porch. It's a nice touch. Now I'm adding lights because it's super dark in this <laughs> game. Like the lighting engine is just blue tinted and dark. And it's just necessary to put stuff in to see what you're actually doing. So for the furnishings, I'm going for a sort of a formal style. This is also very similar to the original Eden house, which had the same couches and chairs as well. I'm I'm just picking out rugs again. Like, it's just going to take me a while <laughs> to figure out the right rug. Time. <laughs> So it's just going to be a rug in this room, maybe in the master bedroom as well. I can see that a rug could work in there. Mm, I think I'm going to replace the wood in the bedrooms with carpet. 
Okay. But yeah. I like this parquet wood floor I do as well. here. I think that's a nice pattern to have mm -hmm. and it's very traditional old style. And just trying to figure out the plant situation. I think plants always liven up a place. Yeah, and I think they can really help just sort of to not divide up the space, but kind of fill it without taking up too much room. Like they really make it feel natural and lived in. Yes. Yeah, I think your dining room looks pretty much done. I know you're going to fiddle with the lighting. Well, it's but always... I like that sideboard. I think the table and chairs work well. Like it's quite a cozy room. It's always easy to say that a dining room is done when you've got like the table and chairs there, I think. But <laughs> Well, table and chairs are in the middle of the room. There's not much space for more table and chairs in there. Mm. It's a nice little formal space. Yeah. But still quite open to the mm -hmm. living Yeah, room. to both living room and the kitchen. I'm picturing, we've been watching this show called Fixer Upper on Netflix, which is a husband and wife couple in Texas who basically they really strongly persuade people to buy fixer-upper houses and then they just go in and basically like rip the whole house apart yeah. and then they always come out with a just gorgeous new space and have done amazing things and so here I go I'm making like a bay window in the front so things like that are so much easier in sense <laughs> but I'm just sort of picturing like I had this woman's voice in my head she's always like I'm gonna just knock down that wall and I'm gonna pull out that porch and I'm yeah. gonna open up this space yeah <laughs> and it's like what house is gonna be left after you're done with it <laughs> yeah but they managed to pull it together and I guess like once you get the main walls like you haven't actually touched on the first floor the walls since after like three like 30 seconds of this video yeah so you got the bones right as you would say for the first floor and then it's just making it work in that space well, here I am replacing all the windows, which I guess are technically Again. part of the bones <laughs> of a place. So. No, yeah, it's interesting. In, yeah, in a, in a real house, they do feel like it's pretty hard to move windows. Like in this show, they do actually say, oh, we're just going to like move this window up and make mm -hmm. it bigger. Like, what? <laughs> that does not sound so easy. But in Sims, it really does feel like you can, I, when I'm building, I actually put them in pretty near the end. Like I get my rooms right. Yeah. I think where I want the bed to go. And yeah. only then do I do the windows. Yeah. Because you can afford to. And if there are things like, oh, I need a big window, you then just can move things in the kitchen around a little bit. Yeah. But I don't know if that's the best way to go. Because if you do want to have lots of light, that's from windows. And actually getting all the light in first is probably a good idea. Yeah, it just depends on your building style. You know, yeah. do you start from the outside of the house or do you start from the inside of the house? I tend, I said it before, but I generally start from the inside of the house just because I started with Sims Free Play and that's basically what you have to do. Well, I think I go from the outside of the house, even right, in Sims well, Free Play. Okay. But then I still put the windows on last. I guess I want to get like the rough design like I know like oh this bedroom might be a bit small might be a bit big but I want it this size because I want this thing next to it to be smaller or bigger mm. so then that gives me my rough structure and then I start decorating I guess so we've still on curtain duty at I the really moment. wish there were more curtain options in yeah because the there's lots of thin skinny tall ones yeah and there's some fat wide ones but yeah. just something and there are I think some Venetian blinds or some roller blinds or something yeah I guess you have done actually in the dining room those ones I'd say would be more just sort of more normal oh that's a big plant <laughs> bigger than that seat if you've noticed I've gone for black trimmed windows here mm -hmm. which again just sort of matches a couple of the houses that we've been looking at in real life and I did this thing with the posts for the porch I started out with green ones and then I added black ones but used you know the rotation ability and sort of made them now green and black wait so you had two columns on top of each other yeah so using BB edit I don't know if it was necessary for BB move objects but yeah, huh. I have it on just by default, but I rotated these columns like just to, it sort of by me. accident, but okay. I kind of like the look of it. I mean, nice. you know, take it or leave it, you know, it is what it is. It reminds me of rock candy. Weird colors for <laughs> rock, rock candy. candy. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, I was just trying to be experimental and add hey. a bit of texture to things. And just now talking about texture, uh, I'm trying to go for, yeah, different material 
So instead yeah, of it bring, being brick, 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 I want it to have, you know, a bit of clapboard look to it. Mm -hmm. And I sort of like the idea of maybe this was an older house that started off all brick and then they decided to extend the rooms to add these bay windows. And so they decided to, you know, use a different material for that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And I like how you continued it from the first floor up to the second floor as well. Mm. So you have that, con that line continuity, both in shape and texture. Okay, so we're now getting full on into the second floor. Yeah. There are these, what are those three little rooms? Well, oh, it's a closet, closet, on either closet side. and then a small private toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so this is just a communal bathroom yes. here on the second floor. Yeah, there are no ensuite bathrooms in this house. Again, because it's more of a kind of traditional, older, yeah. historical type of home, and ensuite bathrooms were just not the thing as much. Yeah, so these Cape Cod style. From what I, the little I know, I think they were sort of built in the 40s and 50s, maybe into the 60s, but not beyond that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, back then there was more closed off rooms, shared baths, mm -hmm. smaller bedrooms actually, I think, yeah. than sort of more modern houses. So that's why I think it makes sense that someone would have opened it up. Maybe that is when they knocked down some of the walls to make a bit more open plan. And maybe that's when they added these bay windows and the roofs oh the roofs the bane of my existence yeah. in sims 4 i think the last house that i built was a modern contemporary home and i just went for a completely flat roof because i just could not be bothered to deal with roofs but this was good practice for me just trying to figure out what the heck you know oh that works out exactly yeah. i just ended up going for that instead of like the multiple i had like yeah. it know, does take a long time though to work out i mean i know um, if any of you watched my modern castle <laughs> house yeah. tour, I think I spent as long on the roof as the entire rest of the building put yeah. together. Like, basically I started because I wanted to make an interesting roof <laughs> and I wanted to see what you could do with roofs because we've seen some... I saw this one video online that was basically making like, kind of like, ter it felt like a, hit a rolling hillside just out of the roofs. It was really cool, like kind of flowing, like concave and convex roofs all over the place. This is in Sims 4? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember the name of the creator, but it was really, really cool. And I thought, what can I do? So I just spent ages and ages trying to do a really weird roof. <laughs> and it wasn't perfect. Like you just can't make things line up perfectly because yeah. they're weird angles. But It's very it intuitive fun. roofing kind of yeah. style in the game, but still, you know... Yeah, I think to do some, it, it makes sense what it's doing, but to get some nuance to it, yeah, yeah, it can take a lot of fiddly work. I think the chair options in the game are also a bit lacking. You're going to see me like fiddle around with different chair options here until I finally settle on just one and just leave it. But I sort of envisioned this room being for maybe a teenage girl. Then the other room up the upstairs is just going to be a guest bedroom, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got what well, the two on the first floor were lived in by the family. Yeah. This one up here by one of the family and then the rest. Yeah. So the room you're doing now was the teenage girls? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that looks nice. I like that desk with the mirror. Yeah. And it's having a, a sofa. That's it's really an, cool. It's an accent table. It's a console table. So it's oh, okay. not a desk, technically. Right. So you can't put a ton of stuff on there. And I think... The Sim probably isn't actually going to use it for anything productive, <laughs> but it looks That's nice. That's fine. Yeah. Makeup, writing letters yep. to <laughs> pen pals, I don't know. Yeah, and this is the guest bedroom, and yeah, I think that's a good choice of bed. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably, you know, the bed linen that the rest of the family's like, oh, this is fine, but I want a new one, so that goes on the <laughs> in, on, in the guest bedroom and they get new bed linens for themselves. Yeah. I think that's how it works now, house. <laughs> so I thought that this big room here could have maybe been a bonus room, but then I just kind of felt like the upstairs was really too boxy. And I yeah. think what I'm going to end up doing, yeah, is just knocking out that room basically and just keeping the stairs going up into a hallway. And uh, completely changing the yes. out the external shape. Yeah, because I, I just Oof. didn't want the house to be like a box on top mm -hmm. of a box. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I like the challenge of trying to do, you know, a house that is like a different shape and have the roofs also, you know, just practice with the roofs to fit that shape. I mean, it is still very boxy, you know, I'm still learning, but mm. this is more than I probably would have done if I just left it alone, you know? Yeah. No, I think it's worth experimenting with these things. 
And yeah, I mean, I also think it's getting an interesting shape together. I wonder maybe next time I'm bringing in the, like, yeah, what's the ideal way for making a house look good on these two different stories? It's hard to get interesting shapes on multiple levels of houses. <laughs> Like, certainly if you're doing more, like the modern one, the Neaton one on the other side of the screen. The that's right quite, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on our left right now. Um, <laughs> switching. I think that's quite easy to do something interesting on multiple stories because it's just so modern and stark, but for something a bit more traditional and exactly. older. Yeah. So, well, it's either a box or it looks like it's been chopped up or just, you know, been added to over the years. Speaking of Fixer Upper, that show, we just saw them renovate a traditional brick home into what they called a French country style home and if you google image for French country like you can see it's really elaborate like it just looks like it's been built one piece at a time by different types of builders you know <laughs> over the years and that's kind of like the ultimate challenge of a house I'd like to try you know at some point one day. The thing they do a lot of that show is they what's it called weathering no they um, distressing the paint yeah distressing yeah. the paint so they basically paint something really nicely like so you have a chair and you paint it all in white and then mm -hmm. I think what she does is she go I mean she's very artistic about it but she goes around with some very fine sandpaper along all the edges yeah like the corners of things and sands them down so let's say it was dark wood before paints it in white then sands down the edges so the edges you can see the dark wood come through and that distresses it. There's some distressed furniture in Sims 4, but doing that kind of effect on an actual building, hmm. I just don't know if we have the textures for the walls. There is one brick painted, uh, white painted, whitewashed brick, which I've used at the uh, art gallery. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that brick, yeah. yeah. So there is that. So yeah, after having reduced the size of that bonus room yeah. to just a hallway, I'm now having to figure out what the heck what to do, do, do with, with a hallway? really long hallway. <laughs> And again, there um, there just aren't that many like options for curtains, and I think also armchairs. I was finding there was a lack of. It really makes you want to like experiment with custom content, but I think we are you know just worried about it like messing up the game and having to like update custom content every single time the game updates. And so I think for now I'm still just exploring what there is to do with the furniture that you get in the game. Yeah, we're also kind of worried about glitching. We've had some glitchiness happen in our Let's Plays, including something that's been really just frustrating for recording. And at least we can say, oh, it's, it's almost certainly just the base game. <laughs> uh, if we have custom content and something bad happens, so, oh, we probably should not do custom content because it caused it. So <laughs> mm. uh, that would be really frustrating. It would be fun, though, to try some custom content because some people make some amazing things. But if I'm taking this long just to pick out curtains with whatever is available in the base uh -huh. game, I mean, how much longer will it take with custom content? Yeah, I kind of think it's a bit like photography. I feel like if you have a really expensive camera, you will no doubt take some really good photos. But you can also take some amazing photos with just your iPhone or your Android phone. And I feel I'm definitely not good enough that I've outgrown my iPhone. So I should get, <laughs> you know, as in like, let's build with the base game. I don't think we've outgrown it at all. If we ever do feel, oh, we've outgrown it or we kind of know everything, mm. then we can think of doing something else. This is always my least favorite part is the landscaping. Just got to do stacking. Just got <laughs> You gotta just like, you know, put plants on top of plants on top of plants in the same place. That's yeah. what I do. <laughs> yeah, I just think that adds nice effects. Yeah, okay, so we've basically done the first two floors, doing some landscaping. There's still a basement you said to go. Yeah. I just saw a little glimpse of it again just now. Mm -hmm. I think this is a nice flower bed for the front, which I think it looks nice and inviting. I'm actually adding flower bed here, I'm adding some grass underneath just mm -hmm. because, yeah, I wanted to look more inviting. I mean, I'm building this house in Oasis Springs because this is where I think we've spent most of our game time, but, yeah. you know, the house can be probably fit pretty well in Willow Creek or Newcrest, one of those, like, because it does look, you know, less desert style, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, I like the bordering with the plants, like round the edge of the property. Mm. Particularly with how sandy it is. <laughs> Where do the goths live? They live in Willow Creek. Willow Creek, yeah. yeah. So that area feels really traditional, and even though this is, you know, traditional in quotes house, 
maybe now like 70 years old or thereabouts. It actually feels it feels a lot more modern to me than a lot of the house designs in Willow Creek. I think the Willow Creek ones, they tried to go more for like a New Orleans type of Southern, uh, you know, yeah, Civil War era kind of look to a lot of the houses there. That's true. Well, I think the Goths in particular feels a bit more Gothic inspired, mm-hmm. but in that maybe part of the world. Yeah. yeah. So this deck here is very skinny, but just enough room for a grill and table and chairs. I also think you've done really well with that roof now. L shape around the house, yeah. but it fits together perfectly. I can't see any real joins. Okay, so the basement, I think I like lost some steam. I had like <laughs> I had plans for the basement to be you know, again full of like a bonus room, kind of playroom and kind of stuff like that, but in the end I just went for a laundry room. This is going to mm-hmm. be a bathroom on the right of it, and then the rest of the room is like for exercise. So it's a lot smaller than the house above, but hey, if you wanted to get this house on the gallery, and we will put it on the gallery, then you can have plenty of room in the basement to expand. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I wonder what the stamina is. Like, what's the biggest house that somebody's just built in a single session in a speed build? They must so I've take seen one breaks. that's like four stories and like crazy, crazy design. Maybe yeah. they take breaks. I did take breaks during this. Did I paused, you? Okay. I paused, let's see, three times while building this, Oof. but otherwise built it in a single session. I'm impressed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> thanks. I mean, it was good practice. It was good practice. Yeah, well, I said I, re- I think that roof, I was a bit unsure before, but I think it really looks great now. Cool. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this speed build. And like we said, we will put the house on the gallery once we are done testing it and making sure any mistakes are out of the house. And the ID for us on the gallery is Make2TV. We'll also put that in the video description below. So please let us know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 videos on the way. Thanks for watching.